Hallelujah. Osovolo kumumbida koboti no modize chitiwa. You can wave those hands unto Jesus and give him glory. Tell him that he's worthy. Our online viewers, we welcome you. It is once again a beautiful new day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Are you ready to testify that he's good? Are you ready to say that he's worthy? Are you ready to lift up your voices and give him glory? Hallelujah. Siya bonga mako siya mak jesu. We are going to testify that he's good. We are going to say that he's worthy. We are going to say that he's able. We are going to say that he's awesome. Hallelujah. Let's go. You can clap those hands unto Jesus for his worthy. Oh, 
glory as you will. Hey. I want you to be the redeem as you praise him. Hey. I want you to feel Jesus as you praise him. I want you to use that power as you praise him. Hey. Come on, you're coming to the 
Kalulaza, Kapila Kalura Koma Buka Kamutendereza. The Lord your God has risen. The Lord your God has risen. Are you ready to declare? Are you ready to testify that He has risen? He is no longer in the grave. We are going to declare that the Lord our God has risen. Do you believe with me that He's risen? Let me see. Hey.
is my God. Sing with me. How great. I know I sing it. How great. You work so great. You reign in majesty.
we want to come all of you before we even get to sit I will come the ushers we are going to give in right now we will come here, our brothers and sisters on the internet on our social network right now we are going to give in the house of the Lord you can use the numbers on your screen and you send your tithe you send your offer trees and the building fund as we give in the house of the Lord sow your seed and God will bless your life so let us have a word of prayer the heavenly father in the name of Jesus we honor you because you are good you have blessed us with the greatest blessing that is life and life in its abundance and the most important that blessing is the blessing of salvation. Oh, that is the, the, the asset that can produce all the profits we need in this world. So we worship you for that blessing. So we ask in the name of Jesus, bless what we give unto you. All that we bring in your house, let it be blessed by the Lord. In the name of Jesus, that we shall have an abundance in our houses, in our fields, in our areas of experts, and every place that we have experience in, that we shall become the head and dominate in every influence of life in every mountain of influence we shall be dominant and I shall be the best in Jesus name you bring in the house of God as we hear a wonderful melody from our angels who are blessed with the service of singing A beautifier Taking away the shame Taking away the pain You made my life so beautiful My beautifier Taking away the shame Taking away the pain You made me just like you My beautifier my Taking away the shame Oh, you made my life so beautiful Done a wonderful job. 
Hallelujah. I want to welcome all of you that are here in this place. We are honored and blessed by your presence. Let us clap for ourselves. For it is good to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. And let us also appreciate our brothers and sisters who are part of us but through our social network we welcome you brothers to this service we welcome you sisters to our service we are ambassadors of encouragement church thank you so much for joining us at this very moment of time I want, we want us to welcome our bishop to come and take us into the ice breaking moment so we can clap our hands, please. I have just said the bishop. That alone is enough to deserve a hand clap. Yes, a bishop. Please clap your hands. Our bishop is coming. He's our spiritual father. And let all his children clap your hands. Father, in the name which is above every name, we come once again before your throne of grace this afternoon. You are so grateful. You are so powerful. We come before you and we ask you, Lord, to come. And touch each one of us. Speak in each one's heart. And bless each one's life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's sit down. We have our friends, online viewers from all over the world. We bless the Lord because of you. And we thank you for your monies and your time. 
And the time you invest in our, in our services as you follow us. We love you and we are best here in Kampala. Kampala. Kampala is our capital city. We are five miles north of our capital city. And Kampala is our business center. You can find us on Google Map. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To all of us who are here today, allow me to salute you and greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we, are we called? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We greet you once again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for coming. Before we start, our online viewers, my name is Bishop Joseph Nsubuga. I work as the senior pastor and overseer of this ministry. And we are based here in Kampala. Uh, we have uh, special people before we start. Uh, allow me to introduce to you my wife. Is Pastor Edward there? Mm. Pastor Boaz is there. Dikona Twine, Dikon Kagusa, Florence. We have Pastor Joshua and Pastor Sina and his wife. I've seen Pastor Barry there and others. Let's appreciate the Lord for everyone. I have a few announcements to make. Uh, I want to On Saturday, we are going to have a wedding here. Gertrude Chikonyogo will be making vows together with Stuart Sembilige. Stuart. Uh, is get with around? Wali. Could you please come up here? Sembrik is not around. So this is Gertrude. Gertrude. You are to be. And our wedding is said to be taking off at 11 a.m. in the morning. Is there someone? Someone who has a genuine reason which can prohibit these people to get married. Arise up and tell us. Is there someone? Who has a genuine reason? Could you please come up and tell us? Someone has a genuine reason. We mobilize all of you to come and be part of this day, this Saturday. And the Lord will bless you for that. We have uh, four issues 
on our plate. And issue number one, we have our Talazo project. We are soliciting the monies and we need money. As if that was not enough. Then another issue arose. The keyboard issue. Our keyboard expired and is no longer working. Yesterday we went on shopping around we had thought that we shall get a keyboard of uh, one thousand dollars, uh, which is three point five million. That was not that that kind of keyboard is not good for us as we stand. Uh, we are looking at it. So we took a body step and we saw another one at six million. So we are now there. We are believing God for six million. And the king and the Tarazo. Uh, and as if that was not enough. On Saturday we are going to have a wedding, but our church we've been working on Tarazo and everything is very dirty. We are going to have so many people here. So we want to rush out and paint this church at this day in the inside. So we are believing God for 600, 633,000 Ugandan shillings. So that we need. Uh, if God has touched, you, has touched you in a special way, you can come out and you stand with us in that area. If God happens to touch you, you can make a sacrifice. So that this place looks beautiful, especially on this coming day. The keyboard. And the issue of the keyboard is so also standing. You can give us one M. So you can give us 500,000. Uh, Pastor Joshua has begun a project of uh, 200,000 uh, uh, for each individual. Now, that is if we come up with 33 people. Yeah. Uh, we, we shall be done with the keyboard. The issue of the keyboard will be no more. And lastly, naturally, it's the same. Our Timothy class took off. Uh, and we are open and we, st we are still registering more other students. So come and register. Register with Pastor Joshua. Could you please stand up? And administrator. administrator Before we close the door. Lastly, how many of you have smartphones? Is a smart. Could you, could you raise up your hand? Smartphones. Okay. This is our humble request to you. We believe that you are on so many social media platforms. So this is our request to you that you also sell us as a church. Messages are zongere yo, zongere yo. Sobro kuwo mukisa bantu abatu abam. 
be our key agent. Uh, the messages, the informations that we give to you, pass them on to other people so that we become a blessing to many. Our brother Dan will tell us more when the service is done. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we ask you to touch us as we share and break this bread. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bwali kore vinya yange Zesele tia kumo itaba Kuruachi kubanga yeana Moyo no mosa ye Effective communication in marriage in a Christian home. Speaking the truth in love to one another makes us grow up in our relationship with God. Similarly, speaking the truth in love to each other as married couples makes us grow closer to each other. A husband and wife must be the best of friends. Who can share success? Who can share achievements together? Disappointments together. Joy together and pain together. A husband and wife must always make the effort to speak the truth to each other. And this teaches their children in turn to learn out of it. Uh, is when the couple are very quiet at home. But immediately when a visitor arrives or shows up, they begin to talk. They are ever revert to silence when the visitor leaves. Communication. Results in growth. Ephesians 4, verse 5, 15, New King James Version. 
But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ. Kakati, now the, the ultimate goal is this uh, you may have a friend or you may have your, your spouse and maybe he's having a certain habit that you don't like and you wanted to share openly to that person something how best can you show his or her mistake but in love Others just back at <laughs> you. You also your bad eating habit. So you've cut off this person is. So to some of us, our nature, our stature, uh, turns us into enemies to our spouses. And yet you wanted to help this person, but the approach that you used brought another bad issue. Now Paul speaks to the people in Ephesus. That we should speak the truth to one another, but doing it in love. In other words, you can prepare that person for a collection you are going to make. When this person's attention is well prepared towards you, then you, 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 you unveil your package or your information to that person. To some of us in our homes, we don't have that patience or self-control. Others, we are so hot-tempered that we rush into arguments so far. Others, when we, we lack this kind of patience, we end up hurting our spouses. But speaking the truth in love at times, it takes time. And it is a cost. Number two. Speaking brings relief and healing. In the book of Job chapter 32 verse 17 through 20. New King James Version. I also will answer my part. I too will declare my opinion. From full of words. The spirit within me compares me. Indeed, my bed is like a wine that has no vent. Wine that has no vent. Wine that has no vent. It is ready to burst like a new wine skin. I will speak. I will speak. That I may find the relief. I must open my lips and answer. So speaking at times brings the relief and the healing in our relationship with our people. Now people with this kind of stature who do not who are not good at speaking and opening up. They get, problem. they get a very, very big challenge. But let us struggle, struggle and strive to always speak out so that we may have this point of relief. Number three, choose to speak life. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, New King James Version. 
Yeremia esule soka onyiru wakumi. Si. Agamba laba. I have this day set over the nations and over the kingdom. I've set you. To root out and to pull down. To destroy and throw down. And to build and to plant. Choose to speak life. Learn to speak. Build. Zimba. And plant words of love. Ero simbe ebi gambe bi okwa gala. To igoku simbe bi gambe bi okwa gala makaga fe. Let us learn to build or to plant words of love. Words of hope. Ebi gambe bi lete subi. To jakuba bulungi. I know we shall be well. To jakuba we tuti. We are not going to remain the same. To jaku zimba. We are going to build. Abana ba jaksoma. These children will study. Ebi gambe bi onga bi ebi singo kuva muba spouses in eriba eriba family members. So such words coming out of the spouses and the members of the family. Words of joy. Ebi gambe bi lete sanyu. Ebi sanyu. Let us speak words of joy. Excellence. Prosperity. Wisdom. Words of happiness. Words of encouragement. Motivational words. And you motivate the person say, I know you will study. This term, you know, the performance wasn't that good, but I know next term. Invigoration words. Energizing words. Uplifting words. That promotes your spouse and the family members. Let's strive to always speak such words. Let us, let us speak life in our families. Number four. Speak good things about your spouse and family members. Words like I love you. You are wonderful. You are so attractive. You are glamorous. So, you are elegant. You are beautiful. You are pleasant. You are cute. You are lovely. You are a good cook. You are a handsome father. You are an intelligent husband. You are a very intelligent woman. You are a very intelligent woman. Let us speak So such words is spoken to our spouses. They act as magnets that, 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 that attract people always to come back home to hear words of the same kind. Now, where the problem happens? Now at home, this person does not hear such words of uplifting. Now he feels like, ah, I'd rather be away from this home. Lastly, confess positive things about your marriage. Proverbs 18, 21, New King James Version. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Death and life. Are in the power of your tongue. So confess positively about your marriage. The I don't know whether I will manage this family or this marriage. I don't know whether I will last long in this marriage. That kind of confession is so poor. Always remind your spouse and family members about your family vision always. A family yo never now never family yo, but you kissing or call it okuli mu family. 
Buli family. Every family. Let us try to have a family vision. If possible, let us spin it in the sitting room. What are your desires? What, what do you see ahead of you? Because a vision is a mental picture for the better future. In the next ten years. How do you wish your marriage to appear mumiaka kumi yajija mumaso? I have a vision. My vision is to build a generation which is discipled which is wealthy which is well educated touching all mountains of influence to fulfill the great commission to build a generational discipled Wealth, educated family, touching all the mountains of influence to fulfill the Great Commission. Mountains of influence, we mean. And so the is of Fuzi, always of Vulan is what to take is a family. Amaka Njaka Krava, family member, and Navazukuru, and Navazukuru, Navazukuru, Nava Fumbo, Mami Namusa, Namuchala, O Mulembe, your Nejinam Vam, up to the end. I desire to see all the members of my family getting holy matrimony, uh, and they are married, man and a wife. All the generations and their children to come. So that is the mental picture that I have. The grandchildren to come when there is a wife. And, and they produce children, they also get married. I don't want to come when it's man and a man, or woman and woman. I don't want. Or to come when it is a woman and a woman. That is part of my vision. Number two is education. I want those who are going to come out of me to be educated and well. Mountain number three of influence is government. government. When I have my offsprings that are working in the government. Whereby they can influence things and command things to exist. Mountain number four is media. Whereby there are people in my family who have captured the media. Number five. Arts and entertainment. Whereby in my family I have those who are participating in arts and entertainment uh, circles of the world. And mountain number six. No, so so seven. Is business. Raw business. No more about in business. Whereby there are those who are in business. Exchange finance change. So that's a picture I have. As I cross. Ngamaliza. What is your family vision? With vision your family yo erichi. What do you see? Chicho lava. Abamu bali nebi roto nebi akoma munda mubo nebi siri kilo. Others have vision. Aganze nkola nze nkola. They stopped in there. They went back to the other world. But the dream is dying. Is being suffocated inside them. 
Aba aba fumbirwa nga taina na vision ya kufumbirwa Why do you want to get married Ekibuzo kiri nti lwacho ya galo fumbire era lwacho genda mbufumbo ogwo Why do you want that man Lwacho omusajjo oyo mwagala Why do you want that daughter or that girl Lwacho muwalo oyo mwagala ago ya galo kuwasa Eliya bamwe bafumbira nakanze nja kuzala mbasajja mukaga kwa bozala muomu abana babanga basiru siru um, family bensaze others get married say I will, I will produce my children in six men because if you marry one man and if the man is that, stu- that, that, that stupid even all those children will become like that what is your vision for your family na yo koleso ba kwa family yo kulichi Omwana atagala kusoma noga nti abenewo ne jaja ngeti ndababa ali makanika twaleri the child who doesn't want Omwana to go to school, you are consoling yourself that after all even my grandmother never went to school eh? let the child go to school tumala ga fumbirwa nga toyina chiroto what why do you want to get married don't get married without a vision for a purpose baba wenso nga lwacho fumbira lwacho wasa What is your vision for your marriage? Okole sewa eri ofumbo bo obo eri okufumbirwa. Osange wali ejana chiwalo chikwato twalo tani ko kuchizana. You get a young girl. Mwanti mwambu aina kabina kasongo fu. Cuz she's Kati, tall. Is that a reason? Eh uh, anti she's looking nice. Eyo yensonga. Kwe kole. Aja kubera bwa na kabina kasongo fu for the rest of her life. Okaka sa are you sure this girl is going to maintain that look? Bana kwa accident na afuka ne ne John yali no kuguluku. Uh, what if she gets an accident and she remains with one leg? Will you still maintain that vision? And now she, what is your vision? Appreciate all the successes. All achievement you just had so far with your spouse and family members. You can appreciate there are spirits uh, that spirit that gets hold of the people the every time you see yourself as poor as someone who has not attained but even the successes and achievement to celebrating but you cannot even celebrate those simple achievements and successes that spirit of the last days assets are clean Remind your spouses about the vows you made on your wedding day. Ajukizo mwagalo wawo ebirayiro bye mwakuba kunako lwembaga. Tuba jukiz. Let us remind them. Which is a mujukiz. Remind of them. And the day your wife introduced you to her to their parents. Noruna kumuchala wo ya kwanjule lya bazadde be. Ya twale dal she took a bold step. And he said, but dad, this is the man I introduced or I brought And they asked the daughter, should we eat these things? And, and, said, and, with the young man. and the girl is determined to go with this young man. He said, you can eat all the we things. We need to remember and remind ourselves of those things. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right to come on it. Why don't we stop there for now? Rie bazi wenga beli nyali ya Yesu. Dala dala. Rie bazi wenga uli jo. Sirimba. Yeva si wenga bolicho Yeva si wenga Yeva si wenga Yesu
Overcome hindrances to your spiritual growth. Devise always. Ways to overcome hindrances to your spiritual growth. Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10, New King James Version. Look, we recorded a story here. Luka, I name Bozi, We are going to share it together. Together, Jigamana Wamunawe. Verse one says, Luka Kumina Mondol Yosoka Lugamba. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Yes, so Nayingila, Naita Muchibuga Jericho. Now behold. There was a man named Zacchaeus. Who was a chief tax collector. But he was very rich. He sought to see who Jesus was. But he could not because of the crowd for he was a very short man. So he ran ahead. Climbed up a sycamore tree to see him. Because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make a haste and come down for today. I must start your house. Zacchaeus made haste and came down. 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 Saying he had gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood up 
And said to the Lord, And if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house. Because he is also son of Abraham. For the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Most things we can learn about Zacchaeus. Number one. He was a tax collector. And tax collectors in those days were despised as traitors. In those days, because of working for the Roman Empire, and not for the Jewish community, and they were regarded as being corrupt. That was number one. Number two. Zacchaeus is primarily a male name. Zacchaeus or Zacchaeus of Greek origin. Meaning pure. Innocent in Hebrew. Number three. He lived in Jericho. Which was a large commercial center positioned on a major trade route between Jerusalem and the territories of east of Jordan. Number four. He was very short in his stature. But he was a very rich man. Number five. He was a chief tax collector. He was a commissioner. Of, of, of revenue. In Jericho City. In the, for the Roman Empire. In the Roman Empire, areas were divided and auctioned for tax collectors like Zacchaeus. Who paid Rome a fee for the right to collect taxes in his city, Jericho? Number six. History books say that Zacchaeus' wife was name was Sarah. He was so eager to see Jesus. And his interest went deeper than mere curiosity. And was sick, it was a seeker for the truth. He wanted to see for himself how real Jesus looked like. Yes, Zacchaeus is known for his faith in climbing a sycamore tree to see Jesus and also his generosity in giving half of all his possessions. Zacchaeus, a Number seven. Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector in Jericho. And was seen as a sinful figure of ill repute. Self enriching. And traitorous to the Jewish community. He climbed a sycamore tree. 
Where he is, is finally able to capture a glimpse of Jesus and the Sikamo tree became a symbol of clarity. Era Nalinya or Mutom Sikamori, a Soro Kulaba, Kuyesu, Eromutom Sikamori, Negufuka, a Cabonero, a Coquete Gereza. When Jesus spotted him in the tree, Yes, we are Mulaba, Nalimoti. He told him, Come down immediately. Namangamanti Kawansi Mango. As I cross, Namaliza. We have so many lessons we can learn from Zacchaeus. Lesson number one. Zacchaeus wanted to capture a glimpse of Jesus. And he wanted to see for himself what would he Jesus look like. He wanted to know who Jesus really was and but. But he was very short in his story. This guy devised the ways to overcome this hindrance. And he reigned. Climb the sycamore tree. Alongside the road where Jesus was going to pass by. Lesson number one. We need to identify the things. Which can hinder your spiritual growth. So that you can devise the ways to overcome them. Things number one. The nature of our jobs can be a hindrance to our spiritual growth. Number two. Marital issues. Number three. In case your spouse is not saved yet. Lack of financial support. Unemployment. Health issues. You might be an independent where you are staying. So let's identify the things which hinders our spiritual growth and devise ways to overcome them. Be Be what are those hindrances to your spiritual growth? What are the things that are hindering you from coming to church? What are those things that are hindering you from reading the Bible? Once Zacchaeus, once Zacchaeus is the size. my is the he tried to run, he tried to stand, and he couldn't make it. He said, the tree now will have to solve my problem. Identify your hindrance to your spiritual growth. Zula, e chikuziiza, okula mumoyo. Avan, tubaganyo, kufayo, kubaziza, no bisa jamagizu. People have given a deaf ear and have ignored those things that are hindering them to the spiritual growth. And they become, and they become stunted in salvation. After all, my husband is not born again, so he cannot allow me to come to church. And the person their, they refuse to officiate their marriage and they just remain standing I don't have that money for making weddings. I don't even have money for introduction. Devise, devise ways of getting out of that hinder, that problem. For the Bible said that where there is no holiness and righteousness, no one is going to see God. Devise ways. Number two. The second thing. Zacchaeus was a wealthy man in Jericho City. He heard and knew that Jesus was the most important thing in his life. He sought to see and meet him more than the wealth he had. 
Yayayana, na no no kumulava, no kusingo gaga we ayayana. So, no. Next year. No. Manya. Seek. Lava. Seek. No nya. Find. Zula. And accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because he's the most important and is the most precious gift in everyone's life. We could yearn to find. Kubanga chia chila be chisingo muendo. Eda buli muri chuna chini ya badaya ya nira okufuna. Ono buka kabu ya nina agenu kuanga buli nothing. This man compared to the wealth he had is so as if he had nothing. That the, 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 the respect he had in Commissioner the area of love, love, city revenue of Jericho. He had the ability to He was the commissioner of the revenue collection in Jericho. Now he must say, "I'm going." He is a rich man. I never rich. He has everything. Yadu kanari nyomo tiwa diola miyomo sikamori omtiyomo sikamori katika nene. You've never seen a sycamore tree. They are huge trees. Ne ya guli nyanat na nubu kana nubu kapakali atu kakutabi natula. But he climbed this tree in all his garments until he reached where the branches were. Ngari namaka. He had a family. He had a house. He had the money. But he saw nothing out of them. There are people in salvation whereby the phone he has or she has became the most important thing in his life. Others, it is the children. When the child falls sick, the other person can even faint. Others vehicles. When the vehicle breaks down, this person becomes a different thing. Now, Zacchaeus never had that in him. Number three. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up Zacchaeus and saw him, him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today I must stay at your house. And Zacchaeus he he came down and deceived him joyfully. Whenever we position ourselves by faith in the ways of God and we study his one we walk the talk and put his word in action Jesus Jesus Yesu. Jesus Yesu. Jesus Yesu. will stop by you one day one time and will stop by and will look for you and we will call you by your name. And we will visit you individually. He will visit you at your place of work and your life will not remain the same. He will pay a visit to your business one, Project one time. One day one time. Your project and your life. Your academics, one day, one time. I shall give you a mix of my job. Your health issues. Every day, you will have to move. I just cut your hair. I go on a kurumu mungere. I just go to the lamb. But I just go cigar. I just chimu. Pay you a visit one day, one time, and your life will not remain the same. Just position yourself. Go where positioning is much for. Yes, we are going to quit. We are going to go. Position yourself. Some of you have positioned yourself well, but the devil is chasing you because he's aware that your miracle is on the way. And I have seen very many born agains. When they are well positioned. One day, one time. And you conclude by saying that this one must be visited by Jesus one day, one time. Stand up. And all of a sudden, the devil snatches this person out of the position. Never. And the person goes away. 
Yesu ye Jericho. And yet that is the way that takes Jesus to to Jericho. Na ava kumutyo musika mori na agenda. And this person gets off the sycamore tree and finds another way. Yesu just agenda kuita. Where Jesus will never pass. Position yourself. Where they came with you for? Ah, oh. Yes, why? Do the will of God. Number four. But when they saw Jesus was going to visit this man, they began to complain. He has going to be a guest with the man who is a sinner. Your day of your visitation will envy many others who are thinking that you never succeed in your life. Lugenda kukwa sisa banji nyo efutua ababali balo oza ntoli wangula mubula mu. Because Jesus is going to make you one day a celebrity. Katonda wafe yeso yogu wakilizo unakurumu agenda kufula celebu. You are going to become famous. And the name of this short man, Zacchaeus, in Jericho, is now being preached all over the world. Wherever the gospel is preached, Zacchaeus is mentioned. You will envy many people. Because Jesus is going to turn you into something special and attractive to everyone. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You will envy very many people when you are driving a poster, when you are sleeping in a bungalow. The tickets taking you to your nations are coming. The The wedding you make, people are going to eat and they leave everything there. You envy many people. Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus caused a lot of envy to the people around him. You know, there are those who look at you and then they think of the Jesus they hear in the books. So they see you as nothing. But wait on the day he's going to pay and you are position in, your Jericho, in your Jericho. And your position is very well. Our way position is of lunch. Jesus will visit you one day. Amen. Amen. And last. Last. Jesus said to Zacchaeus on their way from the tree. Yes, Nagamba Zacchaeo. Zacchaeus. Today. Salvation has come to your house because you are also a son of Abraham. For the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. As I conclude, your day of your salvation is on the way coming. Your day of your salvation is coming. You know the meaning of the word salvation? It means to be saved. That day Jesus is going to save you is, on, is coming. It means to, you know, to, 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 to heal. It means to put you on a good side, on a safe side. You are dead. Your day. You are dead. You are dead. Is coming. Your day of 
salvation is coming. I see your feeding changing instantly. I see your utters, your garments changing. That is no more. Your movement behavior changing. Instantly. Your day of your salvation is on the way coming. I see people getting out of those boxes. God is going to lift us. God is going to lift this church. God is going to exalt us. God is going to bless us in the name of Jesus. 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 Your day of your salvation is on the way coming. Your eating, your sleeping. Your transportation is going to change. God is going to change. He's going to change things. Zacchaeus became a celebrity all over the world. Wherever you go, this short man is being preached about. He was nothing. He was very short. Everyone despised this man. But he positioned himself. As he took a position. And ran and climbed a big tree. Nadukana. And he sat on that tree. Everyone knows Zacchaeus now. One day, one time. Everyone in Uganda will be knowing your name. One day, one time, my name is going to be known all over this world. My days come. My days come. My days come. My days come. Serena Chiti Wamu Magesi Gange Wate Ama Yiko Wange Senyo Mili Sabo Ugaga Wange